If you watched my videos before, you would know that I say that playlists are the most important thing when it comes to DJing. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and let's get right into it. So to access the Smart Playlist menu, it might be a little bit tricky at first, but I'm here to help. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Music Select button up here at the top right or the top left. We are going to click that, and then you might be in your streaming service or you might be in one of these other sources. We want to go to my collection. This is where we're going to create our user created playlist. And then we are going to press my collection. And then up here is the plus. That's how you add playlist. And it's also how you add smart playlist. So what we're going to do is we are going to press here and then we are going to go to the middle one right here, which is smart playlist. And it has kind of like that settings uh gear or whatever it's called and that is what we're going to click on so we're going to press smart playlist and now we're going to need a name so i'm just going to do x ample so now if you scroll down to your, in your playlist you're going to see a playlist instead of this regular playlist sign it's going to be it's going to be that same gear sign so we are going to click on that and it's empty. So this might be the frustrating part. This is what got me for a while and you don't know how to use it or what to do, but I'm here to help. So we are going to press the pencil button. You, you don't add songs to it like you would normally do on a regular playlist. We're gonna press the pencil button and then the plus. And now we can add these filters. So it's gonna create a playlist for us based on stuff that's already in our playlist. So. The first thing we could do is by album. So you just type in an, an album and it'll give you songs from there. I don't really organize my stuff by album, so I'm not gonna give you an example. And then to remove the filter, we press remove. All right, the next one, we're gonna press the plus and then artist. So think of an artist. Let's say you wanted to make a playlist of 50 cent. So you just type in 50 cent. And there we go. We have a playlist with all of our 50 cent songs ready to go. And now you could go even further. You could add another one. So, and then you could do BPM. So you could do is, is not is greater. Let's just do is greater than 110 BPMs. So now we're going to get 50 cent songs that are greater than 110 BPM. So that's pretty cool. Let me just go back. So you could add all of these filters at once, or you could just add one. Let me just show you what they all do. And then you guys could use your creativity and combine them on your own. Comments. I'm not really sure what that does. I think maybe you could add comments to your songs and then it will organize like that. Genre. So you can't type in your own genre, but you have dance, country, electronic, progressive house. Let's just see what, and reggae. I got one country song, reggae, electronic. So there you go. It's not really the best filter you could use, but it's there. Remove filter. And then we have key. So you could organize them by key. Let's say you wanna play songs that are B. It gives you all the songs that are B year, title, and released. So this is a way, instead of sitting there and creating manual playlists, it does it for you. Uh, it's one of those features that I don't think enough people use, but it's there for you and you guys should check it out. So watch one of these videos where I go more into detail on how to create your own custom playlist.